Hello there guys, Mr. Missing in Action back with another Raid Shadow Legends video for you. Today I've got the fourth episode in my Unsung Heroes series, where basically I showcase a, an unloved rare within the game, um, <clears throat> build them as a free-to-play player, um, level them up to 50, ascend them to 5 star, um, and basically just look at their skills, um, their build, uh, look at their reviews and where they're probably going to be good in the game, um, take them into one or two areas within the game and let you decide if you actually want to build these guys out for uh, kind of early to mid game. Um, so today we have uh, an undead hordes champion uh, by the name of Banshee. Um, she's a rare support champion. Um, <clears throat> pretty solid uh, champion in terms of her skill set. Um, well, we'll take a look at that in a second. But first let's take a look at the reviews for her. There's only 245 reviews. Um, and when we go into here, you will find that she's rated highest in Spider's Den, um, the Campaign, and uh, Faction Wars. With everything else being uh, three point something. Um, personally, I, I, I think she's probably a bit better than this. Um, I understand the Spiders, the Campaign, and the Faction Wars scores. We'll have a look at the skills to explain why. But I also think that she's probably rated quite highly in the, uh, in the Keeps and the various dungeons as well. But anyway, let's get into that right now. <clears throat> if we take a look at her skill set, on the A1 we've got Grave Chill. Now Grave Chill is an AoE attack uh, with a small chance of placing the weak form of decreased defense for one turn. 20%. Um, it can be booked up to 30. Um, I haven't booked this champion like all of my uh, unsung heroes uh, to sort of showcase her. Um, but it's a reasonable sort of uh, a debuff on a, a rare A1. And the fact that it's A1 is really nice as well. Uh, sorry, AoE is really nice as well. Uh, Curse Touch on the A2 again is an AoE. Um, now this is nice, 50% chance, booked up to 65, of actually removing a random buff from each target that she strikes. Um, and this is great because uh, obviously you're going to be pulling buffs off the, uh, the opponents. Um, so if they've got things like increased attack, increased defense and so on. She's got kind of a, even unbooked, uh, a 1 in 2 chance of pulling those buffs straight off. Um, on the A3, two times at random. Now each attack now has a 50% chance of placing uh, a block cooldown skills debuff for a turn. That's on a 4 turn cooldown, you can book that cooldown to 3. Um, block cooldown skills is great for the arena. Um, she does come with an a, a, arena uh, aura. Ally resist in arena battles by 52. Um, but personally, I don't think that's where she's best used. Um, for me, she's a, uh, she's a dungeon champ. Uh, dungeons and keeps um, in, in a support role. Um, and basically throwing a stun set on her, which is what I've done here. Um, because of the fact that she's got an A1 AoE, and even the A2 being an AoE, um, she's going to be hitting everybody. Um, basically every turn, so you're going to have the, the greatest chance of, uh, of stunning the opponents. Um, now, uh, she is not a Bellower. She doesn't come with a lot of the other debuffs that Bellower comes with. Um, but Bellower's a, a Void Rare, so he's much more difficult to get hold of. Um, Banshee is a perfectly good uh, substitute for him. Okay, yeah, so I've got her built in a stun set. I've also got her in an accuracy set. Now, the stun set, the, uh, the stun set itself, this doesn't require accuracy to land. Um, any debuffs that are coming from artifacts don't require accuracy. But she does require accuracy for the, uh, uh, the decreased defense, uh, the stripping of a buff, uh, as well as the placing of the block cooldown skill. So it is kind of important for her uh, to get the best out of her kit. Um, so yeah, so we've got a built-in 5-star uh, artifacts and accessories, um, all leveled up to level 12. If we take a look at her stats, um, HP just under 23,000, attack just over 1,600, defense just over 1,400. Speed at 128. Now this is a bit low, but this is because her uh, speed is, is her Achilles heel actually. Uh, very low base speed of 87, which does make it difficult to get her going fast. Got her with a, a kind of nearly 50% crit rate um, and a bit of crit damage on there as well. There's the accuracy uh, as high as I can get it in this free-to-play build, 162. Should be sufficient to go into uh, uh, the dungeons and the keeps where uh, you're probably going to be taking her in the early to mid-game. 
So yeah, she's uh, a, a fantastic support champion actually. Let, let's actually take her into uh, in, into dragons. Um, we'll, we'll go for uh, let's have a look at. We'll probably go for dragons thirteen, um, and I think that's a, a good place to to showcase her um, because this is the first stage in which you can uh, acquire uh, six star gear. Um, and that's probably where a lot of you are going to be taking her if you're actually building this champion up. So let's uh, let's throw her in there. Um, I've got her in a uh, as free to play friendly team as I can make here. Uh, Poth carry in the lead. Uh, Draconis, one of the new uh, Void rares. Um, oh, I forget his name. Renouncer, one of the, another one of the new rares. There is Banshee, and I take a Frozen Banshee as well just to sort of kill the dragon once it gets there. But this is probably about as free to play as you can get. Um, it's a team of, of complete rares. They're taking on stage 13. Uh, only two of them are actually uh, leveled to 60. Um, and they should be able to do it with relatively ease. Um, so let's go straight into it. Um, watch Banshee through the waves. Hopefully she lands the stuns. Uh, lands some of her debuffs as well. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Hopefully we don't get the lag like I always do on Plarium Play when I'm loading up the dungeons. Uh, but as soon as we get in there, let's take a look. Okay, so we're watching Banshee. We're looking for the stun, really. Um, she's there. It is no stun, but she got the uh, uh, the decreased defense on the two. Um, it is an eighteen percent chance of the stun uh, with the artifact set. Um, but obviously, having the A O E A one and A A two. Uh, there's the stun actually on uh, Apothecary. Uh, she gets to throw that chance out all the time. Um, they, they should be able to get through this relatively simply. Um, first wave is almost done. Um, and then we'll move on to the second wave. I, I just noticed a block cooldown skills there, um, which was her A3. Uh, we, we don't really want her doing her A3 in dungeons. There's the stun again on Apothecary. Um, my voice still isn't completely right yet after the flu, but uh, it's a lot better than it was yesterday if you watched my video yesterday. Um, if you haven't, I'll leave a link down in the description for it. It was a 10 times uh, summon. Um, eh, it wasn't the greatest, but I, I'm not known for good shard pulls on YouTube. So anyway, yeah, we're on the second, uh, the second wave here. Um, let's watch Banshee again. Uh, there's the stun on uh, Tyrell, which was kind of useful. Um... Yeah, we should be able to tick through this. And then uh, once we actually get to the dragon, her job is kind of done at that point. Uh, it's kind of all over to uh, to Frozen Banshee. Um, but as you can see, it's a team of rares. Um, there's only one void in there. Three of them are at 50. Uh, and they're perfectly comfortable at Dragon 13, um, farming six-star artifacts. So here we are on the dragon. It's, uh, it's kind of over to Frozen Banshee now. There's the poison sensitivity. Um... She's dropped the defense, uh, just the weak version, of course. Uh, but that's all that Bella has got, actually. So it, it's it's not that bad. Um, she's she's a good substitute for him until you get hold of him. Yeah, over to Frozen Banshee now with all the poisons. So um, yeah, that's uh, Banshee, guys. Um, solid rare, um, definitely worth your time if you're in the early to mid game, especially if you haven't got a Bellower or any other sort of solid AOE. Uh, uh, a1 uh, champion um, get some stun gear on there uh, I know it can be kind of difficult to get in the early game but by the time you get to sort of early mid game you've probably got a half decent stun set available um, yeah so don't sit on this one build her up my name's been Mr Missing in Action um, I'm going to let you go the dragon's almost dead Frozen Banshee's doing the job here anyway, so Mr. Missing in Action, peace out, I'll catch you in the next video, um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, oh and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get the notification guys, um, and I'll see you in my next video.